Just, just think of a term, disability. Um, it says that you're disabled, that there's something wrong with you that you can't do, and nothing could be further than the truth. My experience has been with people who have disabilities that, given resources, they're able to exceed what other people can do. So my name is Mark Miller. My experience in terms of education is um, I've worked in education for over 34 years, putting aside just as a student and on top of that. Um, the majority of that time has been in school administration. I spent 10 years as a special education teacher as well. As we entered into the Industrial Revolution, um, kids became um, educated in a very factory-oriented school system. You started to find school systems that were set up a lot like um, the Model T Ford system, where kids would be sorted and they would be categorized and they would go down assembly lines and they would learn the specific subjects at certain grade levels on a specific schedule and a specific time that was really based upon very murky research. A majority of the money for special education is spent on reducing class size. So there's this theory that if special needs students, there were fewer students in the classroom, they would get more teacher attention. And then with that more teacher attention, their achievement would go up. But that's not what happens. What happens is students get removed from their peers, either by in-school suspension by proxy, or what happens is we institutionalize a process that once they get identified with a disability, we now remove them from their peers. We stick them in a smaller classroom where there's a smaller number of students and a specialized teacher who's gone and gotten a certification in special education and what has a tendency to happen is the um, curriculum that is delivered in those classrooms is of a lesser quality than what you'll see inside the general education classroom. You have a literally a separate but unequal system even though the students are in the same classroom. They're even not learning together, but they're in the same classroom. I think we all struggle with what exactly is that formula. I do know that there are some things that we already know about the way kids learn. And I would say that the research that has come out in the past 15 to 20 years has really accelerated our understanding um, in a very specific way in terms of really knowing for sure um, what helps students learn, and also what doesn't help students learn. Part of our problem is that we are wedded to antiquated ways of instructing and measuring learning. So what is really needed is a transformational approach towards how we teach students. And actually it's one of the great benefits that happened with COVID, because when we had to move towards virtual learning, our educational system was forced to look at students as individual learners and provide for them individualized instruction whether they had a disability or not.